I'm not trying to create a tutorial here, merely some content to show how I go about this work. If you're interested in learning in more depth, join my Patreon membership for access to many of the Fusion 360 files you see on this channel. There's a link in the description. I think that looking through these files and trying them out for yourself to see what works for you is a great way to get started creating your own models, developing your own unique CAM strategy, and elevating your Luthery to the next level in accuracy and efficiency. I wanted to make a video about how I develop toolpaths for a model. And as luck would have it, I was getting started with just that task on this instrument. The body is similar to a Les Paul, and the neck is based on the Gibson Firebird. I will be making a guitar and a bass on this model. So I thought I would try something a little different to get this one rolling. If you're interested in how I generate cam, manipulate the model, create stock geometries, and how I develop this system, then you're in the right place. Let's get started by generating a cam strategy and stock geometries for this neck. This is one of the most complex milling scenarios that I attempt, and at times succeed at. I don't choose the order of these operations haphazardly. I've grown into this method on a path that includes many mistakes, errors, and failures. First, I'm going to set up the cam for a scarf joint neck. I haven't seen anyone else use this technique, and it's been rather unpopular on a few Facebook Luthery groups, a space that's not necessarily known for its inclusiveness and open-mindedness. My attempts to describe the metrology of this component have passed unnoticed. I've adapted many of these techniques for machinists, and with them, a metrology that is near fanatic. Many Luthiers feel that I spend excessive time and labor in these setups. Ironically, these complex setups are commonplace in machinist content. I find that the time and effort put into developing these techniques are well worth the effort. And there's another idea that I would like to dispel while we work through this as well. While the 3D model is important, it's not everything you will need to develop your CAM properly. The skills and abilities in modeling and drawing this instrument will need to be applied to create a few additional geometries needed to generate the cam.
Thanks for watching. Thank you.